Not all fields on your form are ones where you'll be entering data. Let me give you an example. Let's click up here and I'm going to open up that client's form. Now client ID, if I try and type, it won't accept anything and that is because the client ID is an auto number field. It will automatically have a sequential number for each new record. So if I go down here and navigate through, you can see it's a sequential number. So I can't actually enter anything in there. So to have the cursor in there is pretty futile. So what I'd like to do is to make sure that the client ID field is not within the tab order. And it's quite simple to do. First of all, let's go to Design View. I'm going to right mouse click, go to Design View. Next, I'm going to double click on Client ID to bring up the property sheet. Alternatively, you can single click and click on Property Sheet. Then we go to Other. And down here, you can see it says Tab Stop. If I click in there, and remove that and change it to no, that means whenever I open up the form it will always start in this field rather than there. So if I tab it will always skip out the client ID. You can click in the client ID but if you use the tab key you'll never actually go into the client ID field. That's one way of doing it. Let's go back to Design View. And actually, I'm actually going to change that. And instead, I'm going to show you a different way of doing it, a way which I prefer. So click in Client ID, go to Data, and change that to Not Enabled, and put Locked to Yes. Now if we go to that view, you can't actually click in there either. And personally, I prefer doing it that way. Go to Tab key, and you can never go into the Client ID field. However, because this field is the same colour as these, you may try and click in there. So I like to change the colour of that too. So this is how I do it. I'm going to go to Design View. I click on the Client ID field. We want to choose a background colour. The colour I'm going to choose is this one here, light grey. Now if I go up to View, it's quite clear that this field is different to the other ones. Can't click in it either. So that's the way I prefer to visually distinguish fields you can enter data into and those that you can't.